with this science you can create the most wonderful life on this planet. Since perception controls biology, and since they can be right or wrong, then it's more accurate to say that belief controls biology. What you believe creates your life on the inside and on the outside. Perception controls biology because how we see life determines our behavior, controls our genes, and can even rewrite the genetic code. But since our perceptions are sometimes right and they're sometimes wrong, then it's better to call them belief so that it is belief that controls biology. You're not a victim of your genetics, that you are responsible for what unfolds in your life. When you look at yourself, you're not a single entity, but you are a community of 50 trillion cells. But it's important to understand the word community. Every cell is intelligent, but when they're in a community, they give up their personal intelligence and respond to the central voice. So that the community represents a thing, one thing called an organism. And in, in that community, that a cell must follow what the central voice is. And if the central voice says to die, the cells will die. So the central voice is the mind. And I will be talking about the nature of the two parts of the mind, and why we have trouble sometimes controlling our life. So what I would talk about is the role of how this mind works. First, there are signals from the environment, the internal and external environment. The brain, the function of the brain is to perceive the signals and then interpret those signals and then send the information to the cells to control the behavior and the genetics. So the function of the brain is perception, and from that creates the mind. Now, we have heard of something called the placebo effect, right? The placebo effect is when you have a very positive thought that something can heal you, even if it's, we, you don't know it, but it's a sugar pill, uh, but you believe it's the real medicine, then you can heal yourself with that. So the pill didn't heal you, it was the thought that healed you. Statistics reveal that one third of all medical healings, including surgery, are the result of the placebo effect. Now, the issue is that the placebo effect is when you have positive thinking. There was a question this morning, what about negative thinking? And this is what medicine does not tell you, is that there is negative thinking and it's called the nocebo effect. And in the same power that positive thinking can heal you, negative thinking can kill you. They're both the same effect. One is more positive, one is more negative, but the effects are exactly the same on your health. One will heal you and the other can make you sick. The point is, is that negative thinking can create all the effects of chemotherapy. Now think about this. If a doctor tells you you have a disease or the doctor tells you you're going to die and you believe the doctor because he's the professional, the belief will give you a disease and can cause you to die. So belief becomes an important part of medicine. Now, Many of you have heard about the drug Prozac. Every year, billions of dollars are spent on buying Prozac. And here's a surprise, that the Prozac is no better than a sugar pill, so that it is a placebo drug. And yet the people who take it believe in the drug so much, okay. it makes them better. So if you believe that something is good for you, it will be good. And if you believe that it's harmful for you, it will be bad. So if we were growing up and programmed with stronger beliefs, we would be more powerful than we are now. 
belief is important about everything, in, including uh, our health and our aging and the world that we live in. This is a picture of some beautiful women that dance in what is called the Palm Springs Follies. And I ask, what do you think is unusual about these women? What is unusual? Their ages. To 75 years old. Aging is not in their belief because they have a passion to dance. And the passion keeps them young and alive and healthy. But most of us see other people grow old and expect that we must grow old like they do. And then the more important factor that Greg has talked about, belief becomes part of the field. So while you might want to believe you can stay young, the belief of everyone around you is more powerful and will get you to get old. So that it is belief that controls biology. What you believe creates your life.